Hey, hope you're all well. This is Cobra back with another video. Today's video is named Life After the Wipe. Now this is a continuance of uh, me playing the Pit Stop server, which is a PC modded server. So what's new? The 1.12 update has dropped. Um, there's a number of different aspects that the owners or admins um, from this server have created and this is one of them just outside column Brody there is a big military checkpoint now called checkpoint Zeta so take a little look at this It'd be interesting to see what you think Jesus there's zombies everywhere around this compound so as you can see, uh, this is day one of the um, wipe. Um, our bank balances have been reset to 7.5 thousand. I was close to uh, 1.5 million actually. Our bases have been reset. Um, so it's a complete fresh new wipe. And uh, I'm just now looking at the new bits and pieces here, but also trying to gear up as quickly as possible. It's starting to look like this place has already been hit. Um, there is not much by way of ammo or weapons so far. So first thoughts for me, um, this is quite a dangerous area you can get sniped from behind the fences it's quite open it's not far from spawn sites um, there's just untold amounts of zombies here and if you piss one of them off they're all coming the only problem I see so far is there's not enough um, loot here but I'm hoping that that's because it has been raided but here we go we'll see Now I'm told, um, as part of the changes to this server, they've made the zombies harder to kill. Uh, I've heard stories that one hit, cut you. So let's take a look. Well, I took a hit. I'm not cut, so hopefully I'll get away with this. Well, this uh, overlooks over to Colin Brody. That's Tarnell Way. And down to the left is uh, Grabbing. So it's quite an impressive sight. Well, already I can see the zombies are a lot harder to kill. I think it's six, seven hits. Um, and I've been cut once, which ain't too bad, but they're definitely a little bit harder than normal.
Oh, you know what? The loot here is not great. I'm going to make a run. Let's get out of here. I'm going to head down south as quick as possible. Hit as many militaries, uh, military bases as I can. And uh, see what we can come up with. Oh, look at this. Someone's put bear traps down everywhere. Hmm. Funny. You know what? I'm going to sit in this tree and wait for a couple of minutes to see what happens. I was literally just sat there in that tree waiting. I turned the camera off and all of a sudden I hear this noise and the guy just ran straight into the spare trap. Um, so he's fallen over, broken his leg and I've shot him in the head with my blaze. So um, he's loaded. Look at this. He's got the wolf. AK-15. Silence. Yeah, that's nice. 120 slot bag. This boy's been down here. He must have been down here looting this place for ages. I think it's got them pins as well. And those, I think they do. Those pins sell for about five and a half k at black market. I think. Let's have a little look at them. There you go. I've got four of them. Nice, I'll take that. Straight into it, love that. So after that kill and multiple other high value goods I found looting around, I've been able to put together a two by two here. So I'm out collecting as many resources as I can to start my expansion program. Now, 12 hours later, this is the base. I've got a couple of decent vehicles now. Imprinted my name on the base. And as you can see, it is now three stories high. I have been very fortunate, this is now the second tier 3 Pog Sledgehammer I found in the uh, hunting sheds and I've managed to sell one of them already as it's a new uh, yeah, start I'm here, I'm here at the now. I've decided that the easiest way to get rid of it is just to sell it for 150k that you would normally go for about 280 to 300 but I need the money, I want to get set up as quickly as possible and there's always a group or two on this server that are willing to buy it. There's my key. There it is. I've got a big ass um, SV98 black. Boxes and boxes of fucking ammo here. Yeah. Loads of them. I must have about a hundred boxes on me. No, excuse. <coughs> no, yeah, definitely. Are you Cobra? Yeah, I'm Cobra, mate. Come here then. Oh, then. Right. 150k uh, then, boys. It's one, one on me. Lovely. Take the. Pog on the ground, mate. There you go. Nice, nice doing business, boys. Be safe with that. And as you're about to see, um, I've now got another 150 lump sum in the bank, which puts me at around about 212,000. So with that all taken care of, I've just stumbled across a base, and outside of it, there is a weed farm. So... He's, I think it's at stage two growth right now, so he's definitely inside or he's nearby. And as you can see, five minutes later, the weed's now fully grown, and here he comes out of his base. I'm a little too slow for that, he's gone straight across the screen and jumped over the fence. But 
keep an eye out because he's about to come back. There he goes collecting wood. He's run out. I can't get a shot because that greenhouse in the bloody way. So I've decided to move around, take my time and wait for him to come back. I know he's collecting logs so he's going to be walking nice and slowly which should give me a good opportunity with my blaze to take him out. Hopefully we can get him as he's opening the door so that then I can get in his base as well. So that's him lifting a log. And what you're about to see is something a little strange happens now. Because this for me is a simple kill. Here he comes. He's opened the door. I've gone for a shot. Bang. It's, it is definitely a hit. And it looks like it's not even phased him at all. But he knows about it, obviously. I should imagine he's at the very least he's bandaging inside. But it hasn't killed him. Had it killed him, the door would have been open as well. But in any case, there you go. So, I've hung about for a couple of minutes. He doesn't come back out. So, what's left to do here? I think to myself, do you know what? He's left his weed here. We've got to get something out of this. So, let's take care of it. So there we go, we've taken a weed and it's time to get out of here. We'll come back and revisit him at some point. So I've made it back to base and there's been a big issue with this 112 update regarding weed and ground weed. So the normal methods I'd use, the pots, the garden pots and plots you can't use it doesn't work properly so I've dug a number of patches or little plots inside the base and a couple of people have asked me even though it's widely known how to grow weed have asked me just to do a little bit about how to do so so what you saw me first of all do was fill every hole with garden uh, lime uh, you've then seen me put seeds in it and then simply we do after that is just water them nice and easy and you'll see the end product shortly. So after 10 minutes of me pissing around with this, this is what you should end up looking like. Every one of those has got a little stick in it. But as you're about to see, there are still big issues with this. So half of my crops haven't grown at all. Um, and some of them um, have just completely rotted and this was 45 minutes after that plant so it is a little strange I've had a chat with the admins and they've compensated me for it but um, it doesn't appear that weed is fully fixed yet so be careful So, after growing as much weed as I possibly can, it's now time to hit the black market and hopefully get away without being sniped um, with my first big drugs haul. And as you can see, quite lucky, I ended up finding quite a lot of uh, black frost seeds, which are the most expensive. And I've just come away now, you're about to see here, about a hundred odd thousand. But can I get out alive? That's the next bloody question. And I have. So straight into the bank balance. So day four down in Swarog. I'm using a VSD against some of these new creatures.
fucking hell. How many times have I <laughs> fucking run out? So that's 11 fucking shots it's taken to hit here. 11 shots. Now I've got to be careful here because there's a lot of players online. It's nearly a full server. Palana Trade is just around the corner. There's loads of bases around here. And as you can see, as I start to run out, there you go. There's a, at least one person, maybe two. So I managed to patch and I make a pretty big mistake here. And there you have it. I did. So, kick back up and we go again. Finally, this is down in Silver Moon. I didn't realise these things can carry a storage of up to 200. But um, on these occasions, all I'm getting is a 1, and it's uh, the little badges that go for 5.5k in black market. Um, and I haven't had a, I haven't really had a chance to kill him. Oh, uh, there's only two walking around there. At the uh, Chemi, I, I believe. Yeah. Oh my god, on my position this is so fucking huge, huge base. That's, uh, like the, um, the red barn in the oh. thing. Completely yeah, so. built it with walls and walls outside. Oh my goodness, it's a fortress. But is it nice? Does it look nice? Uh, it's looked like a cube, so it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's my bullets. Uh, what? I need to have a little look. Oh, Winchester. Oh. Sky H and Sky L. Yeah. Any one down here?
lovely. Spec Ops boots, love them. Yeah. I've got loads of black market goods here. Oh well, it looks like I'm having a little trip up to the black market as well then, on the way back. <laughs> and I've got a Cartel AKM as well. Nice. I'm definitely... Do I risk it? Hmm, should I fucking risk it or not? I don't know. It's a long way. You know that M4A4 suppressor with the um, the white tape around it? Is that only black market? Yeah. Fuck's sake, everything I've got here pretty much is that again. I'll, oh. do, I'll do another round in semi, see if I can get away with it. Ah. Oh, hold on. What the fuck is that? Well, I've got a... A long thing with horns on its back and a, a skull on its head. Make a photo. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a photo. What the fuck is this? I've not even seen that before. Um, I was debating whether to go... Oh, shit. Thank... Oh, fuck. Wolves. I've got them big black motherfucking wolves on me. Oh, shit. Ooh. That ain't good. Oh, I think I'm dead, boys. Bye-bye. You know, them big werewolf things. Run, you little dickhead. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking taking the piss. Are they still coming? Oh shit, I've outrun them. How the fuck have I outrun them? That's, that's a little bit strange, that is. I'll do exactly the same now. Fuck it. Right, you're going to hear a load of noise in a minute, boys. So after all of that, we've come away with quite a nice load of gear. And the two big werewolves that we killed a little while ago have now respawned. So let's see if we can get anything else. Let's fucking have it. Come on in, you piece of shit. Let's go. Come on now, don't go getting all large. Now die, you little dickhead. So there's one. Shut that little motherfucker in the ass. <laughs> Shit, run out of bullets. Come on now. Yo. Dead? Oh. With no fucking bullets left. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get assassinated here. Is that it, boys? You're just giving me two more badges? That's some bullshit. Right, let's go. Cool. Took a, quite a few risks on that run. Yeah. 
So after all of that, we've made it to the Black Trader where we managed to sell a load of gear. And now at Prosperity Trader where we sell the rest of it. And they end up on that run with around about 50 to 55k, which is not too bad. So check out my bank balance at the end, which is just over 700k. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Take care.